Hello, this is Matreus, and welcome to another episode of Uphill Climb Challenge. Today we'd be taking the 1969 Dodge Charger RT up the mountain and see how it stacks up against the competition. We had quite the uh, a surprising turn of events in the last episode with the uh, Ford Deluxe. We'll see if the Dodge can uh, stand up to that sort of standard. Now, it should have been fairly... Uh, a big clue I dropped in here that I'd be using this car is what I said about the good old boy. So we went with the uh, Dukes of Hazard livery. Uh, you, can't, you can't have a Dodge Charger without that. I mean, of course, there are different Dodge Chargers out there. you got the point from Bullet and those sort of things. But the most iconic, I think, is one from the Dukes of Hazard. So that's what we went with. So let's get this show on the road with the tires. Definitely want to put on some dirt rally compounds. May put on different rims, I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling. I think I remember seeing somewhere like it in the uh, looking online that the rear tire was slightly bigger than the front one. I don't know. I'll just do that just for uh, let's just roll with the standard rims. Okay. Definitely going to drop in a new gearbox. We'll have to get all the power out of this big old engine. Not sure what kind of engine it has. It's probably a uh, travesty. Since I don't know that, but whatever. We're here to have fun and drive cards ridiculously fast up in hell, so I mean, statistics be damned. <laughs> All right, sway bars, roll cage, and Ooh, this cards definitely have you want to take as much weight out of it as we can. Although, before I get too far, because I completely forgot, we definitely want some bigger tires. We did see that the with the, uh, the deluxe, at least with the A class, some two six fives that ran in the front. Ooh, three two fives. It ran two nine fives. I believe. You want three fifteens? Bought them before. Gives us one point of PI to play with. Let's go with two nine fives. We'll just put a better air filter off in there. And put a new spark plug. Can do anything with the flywheel? Yes, we can sneak the flywheel on there. All right. Let's install all this new stuff and throw this car up the mountain. See how it stacks up against the competition. And here we are at the bottom of the mountain, ready to begin the challenge. Let's drive over to the starting line and get ourselves set up. As always, we do a set route. Make sure it's right at the intersection there. Make sure traffic is off, and there's no music. Not because of choice, it's just that's how things gotta be. And here we go. Oh yeah. This car is definitely happy to go. And as big as it is too, it's fairly nimble. I mean, look at this. And holy cow, this thing is just happy. Just happy to go places. 
Wow. This is going to be quick. I don't know how quick out. I feel like the, uh, the Ford Deluxe might have something to worry about here. Wow. Uh, just gotta keep your eyes on the road, Matt. Let's just don't take it all, and you gotta keep your eyes in. Eyes and check eyes on the road. Your hands upon the wheel. See if the song goes. Roadhouse Blues, I think it is. I play it for you, but those are those. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> Alright, whoa! Okay, a little oversteer there. Okay, here we go. This is an absolutely ripping opening run here, but you've got to keep it all in check here in this last bit here. This, this is where things can go really bad if I don't focus. This is a high speed section that is very rough. Also, jump on the brakes. Thirty-two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a good one. I can feel it already. I feel like that tire size I've picked out here, I think it's exactly what this track, this track needs, at least an A class. That's what this uh, particular track likes. Shift just a little bit before uh, it hits 7,000. Just shifts real smooth. Yeah. I would love to get one of these cars. I, mean, I, like, I like my Fords. But. I gotta say, I, I would be very happy to say I own a, a Dodge Charger. One of, your, one of these classic ones here. Not really big on the, the new ones. They, 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 they look. I mean, Power-wise, they act like these old, the old ones. But looks-wise, they, they kind of remind me more of the uh, ones from the '70s, which they were more like sedans, four-door sedans. Which it's like, because you know, when you think of Charger, you think of a four-door sedan. I think it's uh, basically the less expensive version of a Chrysler something. I can't, I can't remember what it is right now. Maybe if I can find a picture of one, I might put it on screen if I remember to. If not, maybe a link. So yeah, the 70s were a weird time to be a for, for auto manufacturing. So, you know, the gases, gas prices being gouged and everything. EPA standards getting kicked in and all that. Which, I mean, are all important. I'm not saying they're not. But totally killed the car, at least fun cars, at least for at least later half of a decade. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> ah, 229. And we still have one to try to go. Let's do it one more time. Ah! I did not see this happening. I did not foresee this. Oh my goodness.
I mean, yeah, I don't think this thing would be great, you know, for what everyone wants to play online. You know, wide open roads, high speed stuff. But if there was any tight cornering ever had to be done, and maneuvering that had to be done, an A class car, this would be my go to vehicle for sure. All right. What a lovely vehicle. Who would have ever thought a Dodge Charger being maneuverable? <laughs> All right. I pinged it off the wall there, but right in the right direction. Doing good, so. Nice thing, it just it just grips up and just throws itself. I've only had that one time that it had uh, in power oversteer. Which I, it's because I was being silly and pushing the car too hard. Man. Probably not going to beat that time again, but. But hey, I'm, I'm not going to be upset. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with the, how this car turned out to be. All right, here we go. Back straight. Can we squeeze any more time out of this car? Any more time at all? Oof. That was a rough landing. Not quite that time. But the fastest is 229. Now I'll have to go in and see what it is down to the hundred, the uh, tenth of a second, a hundredth of a second. I we have ourselves a new leader of the uphill climb challenge, and it's not even a rally car. Go figure that one out. Well, all right. So I'll see you on the flip side with the final standings in the figures. And here we are with our new leaderboard with the Dodge Charger RT coming with a surprising 2 minutes 29 seconds 0 .06 being the Subaru by nearly a one and a half seconds when it came in at 2 minutes 30 to 30 seconds 0.49. I was not expecting this to happen at all when driving this car especially since uh, the engine wasn't there was any swaps and I didn't go with the largest tires and especially since it's rear-wheel drive not all-wheel drive like the rally car is I was expecting it to challenge the Ford Coupe possibly be in that area I was not expecting this at all well I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Uphill Climb Challenge